Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Corsair H100i self-contained liquid cooling solution. It is obviously an update to the very successful 240mm radiator H100 which came out around the same time if I got correctly as the uh, Intel X79 and Intel LG 2011 processors and so I specifically tested it for I used that uh, heatsink for testing that uh, system and of course the H100i is also compatible with LG 2011 LG 1155 and LG1156 uh, systems for Intel and all AMD systems are currently available including FM1, FM2, AM3 Plus and of course the H100i similar to the H100 uses the Coolit design but this is the updated Coolit uh, uh, OEM design you see there we've seen this a little bit version of this a little a bit different than the H60 we have previously looked at the H60 update uh, it has, of course, the new mounting, the new hose, and the uh, new Corsair fans that have included, similar to the SP120L series fans that Corsair uh, has recently introduced. And, uh, more, of course, going to test it out and see how well this uh, product performs. Aside from the slightly different packaging, the Corsair H100i, it's uh, similar to the H100, uh, it comes with the uh, manual. To installation guide for both Intel and AMD systems. You have your warranty information. And of course, you have the fans. We have a pair of them since it is a 240mm radiator. Each of them have uh, they kind of have a three-pin connector, and uh, they're all black wires. Put that aside, this package you get essentially a connector for the uh, from the pump unit to the uh, two separate fans they provide you with two of them in case you want to add extra fans later on see that the uh, connectors are different than the standard four pin connectors that you, uh, you have seen in the H100 and you also get this uh, updated Corsair link connector that attaches to the USB port or USB internal header of your motherboard and a USB connector that plugs into the pump unit of the H100i. You've got the magnetic mounting brackets which are a lot simpler compared to the screw-on type in the previous H100. We've seen this in our H60 2013 update review just for the AMD. And uh, the backplate, of course, for Intel. You have, uh, there's actually a small label there for LG 1366 and LG 1155 and LG 1156 size differences. You just simply slide uh, those connectors. And, of course, the magnetic Intel uh, bracket. A bag of screws containing the thumb screw lock for locking the bracket to the back plate and you have uh, these two latches are for the AMD lockdown mechanism you have standoffs, you have two different kind of standoffs for Intel let me just pull this all out so you can see them this one with the one short end and one long end is for LGA 2011 systems since they have an integrated locking mechanism and they don't require a backplate. While these longer ones, let me just uh, try to find the LG 1366 standoffs here. They are noticeably longer. They require the backplate. And you get washers. You get two different kinds of screws for installing the radiator and the fan unit. You get this long one to connect the fan onto the radiator. 
and the shorter one if you want to attach the radiator directly to your case. And let's move everything aside. Take a look at the main unit here. Of course, the self-contained kit itself. Have the radiator standard um, it fits two 120 millimeter fans so there's a standard 240 millimeter radiator with 15 millimeter spacings between them and the radiator thickness is 27 around 27 millimeters you have the new hose instead of the uh, ribbed rubberized uh, rather the ribbed plastic hose the h100 the h100 uh, ha uh, has these uh, more flexible rubber hose we've seen in the h60 all, they also seem to be thicker and uh, right here at the bottom in the pump unit you get the pre-applied thermal paste and copper base let me just uh, back on and smudge my hand and here on the pump unit see the Corsair logo now the H100 uh, logo uh, lit up so this would probably does as well, depending on the connection here. You have the Corsair Link connector there. I believe that's the the old uh, Corsair Link connector right on the right of it. And there's a standard USB connector uh, to attach the USB attachment uh, we've seen, USB cable. And uh, there is also that uh, those two connectors at the top that are, are new. They're not the same connectors as the standard 4-pin connectors we saw on H100. And there's also these hardwired cables for uh, it has a SATA power and a dummy plug for attaching it to your motherboard header for the uh, so it doesn't register as having no fans uh, installed. And that's pretty much uh, covering the overview right now. We're going to take a look at the installation uh, in a separate video of the H100i in our system, and we'll also compare it with the previous performance of the H100 and also. Um, other high-end quarters. All right, there you have it. As you can see, the performance is definitely there. It improves over the H100 and also especially in uh, balanced and performance mode it uh, kind of beats the competition and uh, generally the updated uh, design I like it I love the uh, let's go over things I like about each one hundred first first of all the fact that the Corsair V2 software is integrated now it doesn't require any additional uh, you don't need to purchase any additional items you don't need to purchase any additional uh, peripheral so attach it you can just use the USB connector that they have plugged in and connected to your motherboard and immediately once you install the Corsair Link software uh, just download that from their website you can control your H100i cooler and also the matching mechanism as we have seen with the H60013 edition the new coolant uh, mounting mechanism is definitely a lot easier. I, I, I even prefer it over the Asetek design just because you can easily reuse and re and swap it out and just the fact that it's magnetic you don't need to screw it in like the, the H100 it is a lot easier to install and also the hose, the thicker rubber hose is obviously a lot thicker compared to the thinner rubber eyes, uh, rather the th uh, thinner uh, ribbed uh, hose of the H100 uh, the thicker uh, rubber hose here on the H100i it works a lot better and the fans also work a lot better and just simply it looks a lot slick, sleeker, it looks a lot sexier with the RGB LED the LED can now actually be controlled over the software and not just one color, you can actually it's a whole range of colors for red, green and blue adjusted through the software so all those good stuff that should automatically get it an editor's choice typically but uh, unfortunately it does have some shortcomings as mentioned the uh, Corsair Link software does have some quirks I would have uh, preferred if it was detecting my CPU temperature 
accurately. Sometimes I would even boot and it would detect at zero, uh, at zero degrees. And even when it was working, I had it overclocking and it was detecting it at only up to 44 degrees. There's no way it was running at 44 degrees. So uh, it needs some work in that department, but it does work very well when adjusting the fan speed, thankfully, and the, uh, the pump. And uh, actually, you can even adjust the fan speed individually now per fan compared to the uh, H100, which you, you can just set both fans uh, in the preset just by pressing the button on the unit itself. So uh, the Corselling software allows you to adjust, ha have a, a more uh, more accurate adjustments in how you how you want to adjust. Also, you can change the, the fan profiles and stuff like that. And also, another thing I didn't like is the noise. It is. Even in balanced mode, it is loud. I, I can't even begin to describe just how loud it is. Uh, it, <laughs> plus, when you reach even in uh, when you reach the performance mode, it has that very high pitched noise. It I tried to capture with the camera. The camera can't even capture. It, but when you're sitting there in front of a computer and you can definitely hear it, it's very faint. But it's it's kind of digs on your ear. <laughs> that is just one. Uh, the performance is undeniable, but the fact that it is that loud is just, I can't imagine anyone using their system on performance mode with the H100i, so I had to dock and point to that, so I just had to deduct it uh, and just give the H100i a gold award. Fortunately, again, as I said, normally with that kind of performance, I'd give it an editor's choice, but we don't just grade it in the performance and the improvement. It, it does have some shortcomings. And, uh, if, if they work on the Corsair V2 software and just make it work, even the fact that the, I have I couldn't adjust the fonts. The fonts were too small. Uh, Corsair, if you're listening, hopefully you adjust that a bit because I know some readers would. I don't have problems with my with my eyes. I, I it's just that it's I can imagine people having problems not seeing the text because they're quite small and you can adjust the icon size but not the text size on the Corsair Link software. So that's another issue there and the fan noise so definitely and you can even improve the performance if you change uh, the fans of course and uh, you you, you uh, add two more fans you can have a push-pull configuration if your case allows it of course and just run it uh, maybe in a performance mode or just your own custom speed or even in quiet mode it does a respectable performance even in there of course uh, it's not as great of a performance as in the performance mode or balance mode but uh, you can live with the sound that's coming out of it. Well, anyway, uh, that concludes this part of the, uh, well, this is actually the overview and benchmark part of our Corsair H100i review. You can just click below if you want to read the full review, my conclusion, and also check out the overview of the Corsair Link V2 software and the installation guide I did that uh, where I installed the H100i on an AMD system. Uh, an, an LJ1156 system and also LJ1366 which requires a backplate and also the LJ1011 which we tested. Anyway, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. Leave questions or comments below. Uh, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash and once again, I am signing out. Thanks for watching.